Here we go. How are we doing, guys? Um, I'm going to tie a salmon fly here for you this evening. Um, it is a green earth pearly cascade. Um, hook that I'm tying on is a Partridge Patriot size 8 double. Um, using white uni, you know, dyeing silk. And I'm just going to catch a piece of silver wire here on the top of a shank. And I'm going to tie it in all the way down until my thread gets in line roughly with the points of the hook. So around there and what I'm going to do is form a silver tag first of all. Um, I like the I like to do maybe maybe five turns of a silver wire. So that's three. That's four, and that's my fifth. On the fifth, come round as if you're about to make a a sixth turn. Um, pinch the wire, bring it through the gap in the hook. Now at this stage, I like to just take my fingernail and make sure that that's all pushed up nice and tight, so as that there's no gaps. And then just catch it on your tie and silk and come down and then just come back. I'm not going to go any further for now. I'm going to tie my tail on first and the tail of this fly is it's just a mixture of orange and orange and yellow bucktail with two strands of pearl crystal flash through it. So I'm just going to get my tail sitting the way I want it to sit. Get rid of any wee fibres that may be sticking out of place. Now for the length of the tail I like to go you're looking for roughly twice the length of a, of a hook. So that's one and that's two. So I'll be, I'm happy enough for that. So I'm going to pinch that in my finger and my thumb. I'm going to form a loop between my finger and my thumb and just pull it down, secure it over the tail. And a couple of just loose turns just to hold it and then just make sure the tail's sitting directly over the top of the shank before you tighten up and secure it. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to tighten right up in there. A couple of nice tight turns. And that's your tail secured. You don't want to you don't want to go too mental with the bucktail. So you don't you want to try and keep it nice and sparse. Right. It's not sitting right. Here, just see if we can get that sitting slightly better. That's slightly better. Still a couple of wee straggler hairs, but the water, the water will sort that out. Now, Drum that away there as close as you can under that. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take my super glue, I'm going to put a couple of dabs it on the salt, and I'm going to wind, I'm going to wind that in to the cut ends of the bucktail. Still at this stage, still just leave, leave that wire hanging there because what we're going to do now. Any excess that you can see, just dab it away. Any excess glue. Now we're going to form the green Ursula fly. And what I use for it is just, it's uh, glue bright floss. And it's number, what number is that? That's number 12. It's a lime, 
a lime green colour. So what it is. So I'm just going to catch that in. I'm going to pull it until my excess is nearly there, nearly pulled out. Let me see. Try that again. Aye, catch it in. Pull your excess back until you nearly pull it out, and then just do another loop again and come right down until you're right in line with the start of your tag, and then just. Make sure you're winding right on to the beginning of your silver tag. Make sure there's no gaps. Make sure you can see your tie and silk. And then just form a greeners. So I like to come back down it all the way to the start again. And then come back up. Just to this point. And then Bring your tie and silk over, catch that on. Just a couple of more turns, just to make sure that it's secure. And then you can come in and cut away the excess. Now, at this point, I like to pull that silver wire back. And now we're going to add the body material to the fly, which is I use pearl uni miler. It's just that it's a medium it's a medium pearl tinsel. So it is that's what it's called. Pearl uni miler. And again what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it on on the side. I'm going to make make the excess the same length as the front half of the body and I'm just going to wind it on my catch all that on there it keeps your body keeps the body of the fly nice and uniform and then make sure your first couple of wraps are up tight to your green tag and then just work down the shank of the hook a nice overlapping touch and turns to make sure that the that you, that you get the proper colour of the pearl shining through what I like to do is once I get to the top I like to come back down I like to come back down the body again just to make sure that you've got the, the right proper shine of the pearl sometimes I thought if you only done that down the once um, you might get the colour of your tie and silk shining through too much you're not actually seeing the pearl, you're seeing a mixture of the of your tie and silk shining through the pearl. So I like to come down it and then come back up it again. And then once we get to this point, we're just tying it off. Just bring your tinsel and under your silk. And then just a couple more turns. Just nice and tight turns, secure it. And come on with your scissors and trim away your excess again. And now now we can bring up our silver rub. So nice evenly spaced turns. That's two, three, and I'll go for one more. And that's four. And then you're just tying that off. Catch it on your tie and silk. Two turns, two nice tight turns, just to secure it. And then come on, trim that away. Now, still I'm not really happy with how that tail sitting, but as I said, folks, see once this hits the water and you start fishing with it, the water is going to correct all that for you. Now, so don't get too hung up on it. The water, once you once you start fishing with it, the water will fix it. The important thing is to remember is just keep it sparse, keep it nice and sparse. Now. The next stage is the wing, and the wing of the fly is black fox, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add two strands of paired crystal flash again into the fox wing, so um, just for that extra, just for that extra wee bit of sparkle. Sometimes we need all the help we can get, you know, fishing for salmon is not the easiest game in the world to play, so all the help you can get. Is all more than welcome. So, um, 
Fox. Fox is a very mobile material and when it hits the water it does slim away down in profile. So you might trim off a bunch of Fox and you might think that it's far too much but believe me it's not. As I say this this slims away down. The profile of it slims away down in the water so um a couple of just gonna add a couple of wee strands of crystal flash to it now. For the length of the wing, I like the wing. It's entirely up to yourself. It's how you prefer to fish your flies. But I like I like the wing almost to come back and marry in with the length of the tail. That's that's how I like to do my flies. Um but as I say, it's entirely it's entirely up to yourself. But that's where I'm going to tie mine in right there. So just pinch your wing material on your finger and your thumb. Make a loop again between your finger and your thumb and secure it down in and just a couple of loose turns just to hold it and then make sure you're happy with the position of your wing and I'm happy enough with that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten a couple of nice really tight turns and just tighten right up on it um, come on with my scissors and trim away that excess and I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done with the tail I'm going to apply a couple of drops of super glue oh it's a wee bit too much yeah just a wee couple of wee, a wee dab of super glue onto your silk and then wind that and do the fox cut ends that's nice and secure This. There we go. No, that's a that's a nice enough profile for the fly there. I'm happy with that. So um now first tackle. First tackle is a uh, the one that I'm using. This is a bright gold and yellow um hen hackle. Died by Mark McLean. Um I've got a lot of stuff this this year off Mark is dying this first class um provides you with top quality cape and it's dying the, the colors the colors in it's dying are so vibrant and he's able to dye a cape the exact same color right the way through the, the how uniform that he gets it it's very it's very impressive so it is but i do get I get messaged quite a lot asking where I'm getting my materials and that guys and that's that's where I get my materials from my salmon flies from Mark McLean. Um anybody that's looking for any of these kind of colours and capes and that, just drop them a private message on Facebook. Very reasonable man, very reasonable prices. Good guy to work with. Uh, really knows his stuff. So what I've done, um sorry, should have talked you through that. I've got my other hackle here. What I've done with that yellow hackle guys is I've exposed the tub and I've trimmed away the ends, they reduce the bulk and I've just tied it in on the side. I'm going to come in there with my scissors. I'm going to trim that away right on there. And at this point, see if you take your scissors and run them up the stalk of the, of the hackle fibre, the stem, spreads the, the fibres nicely and then if you wet your finger and your thumb, tease them back before you begin to wrap and it just wraps beautifully so they do you don't want to overdress the fly guys again you want to try and keep it nice and sparse so I'm only going to do two turns two turns is more than enough so it is and when you're just about to start your third turn just catch it on your tie and silk and then one more just to lock it in place Come on with your scissors, trim away your excess. Yes, anything going forward to sitting out of place, just tease it back. Tease it back and just tidy that wee area up. Before you go any further, at this stage it's easy to make sure that your hackle fibres are sitting the way you want them to be sitting. 
I'm happy with that, so I'm going to crack on with the next tackle. And it's the same again. It's an orange, orange genetic hem, exposed to tub, trimmed away the fibres at the side, reduces the bulk in the head of the fly. And I'm just going to catch this again and on the side. And make sure you're catching it in right tight to your yellow haggle. And just a couple of nice tight turns to secure it. Come on, me your scissor, trim that in as close as you can. Same thing again. I'm going to spread them fibers on the scissors. And again, wet your finger and your thumb, tease them back, and just begin to do that. And you'll see that. Just by using them, that simple wee technique. Oh, right, that's not contradicting myself. I'm going to try that again, just wasn't sitting just the way I want it. There we are. That's, that's wrapping much better. Mm, still not sitting. Oh, that's it in the way I want it. Right. It's always it's a more it's a lot better, guys, to come back, come back and correct it, and make sure that it is sitting the way you want it. There's no point in going ahead and finishing the fly off, and if it just looks a mess, it's just it's pointless. You're better off. It's dead easy just to come back and correct it. Your your fly will look, it'll have a much nicer finish. So that's one turn. That's still not. You see now. There we are, slightly. No, still not sitting right. Right, I'm going to come. That's, that's what the problem was. Uh, right. What was wrong there, folks, was I just I tied it in slightly. Slightly off the side, that's why it wasn't wanting to wrap properly. But and as I say, you're you're much better coming back and correcting it instead of trying to finish the fly off and making a mess of it. So right, I'm just going to catch it on. A lot more on the side this time. Yeah, that's better. I was just slightly too far up the first time. That's where I was going wrong. <laughs> and here we go. Try this new this time. See if it works any better for us. And again, it's the same. Same as what we've done with the yellow. You only you only want you're only needing two turns of this. Two is plenty. You don't want you don't want to overdress the fly. That's much better. Much better this time. And again, as if you're about to start a third turn, catch it on your sock. Come on, your scissors. Trim away any excess. And then just position them fibers the way you want them. And then just tidy your head area up. Get ready for my nice wee bus. Get ready for dressing off the head of the fly. Just before we do do that, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to add jungle cock cheeks to the fly. Um, so I'm going to put one on my side to start with, and then I'll add one on your side. So, just hold that there, catch it on, just wait, just wait three loose turns, check the position of it, make sure you're happy with it. And then you can just come in, trim that away. A lot of people like to tie it back and then trim it away. 
as I find it just as easy just to trim it off there and then. As long as you get your scissors in right tight, you'll not have any excess exposed. And now I'm just going to tie one on your side. At this stage, I like to come over the top of a over the top of a flea and look directly down. That way, you can make sure that your two cheeks are exactly the same length. And sitting nice and symmetrical. I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to do a couple of tight turns just to really secure them in. And then come in with my scissors again. Just trim that away. Right, now I'm going to what punish the fly, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a pearl head on it. Just gives the fly again that extra bit of sparkle. So just four or five turns I will punish. Now, at this stage, what I like to do once I trim away the silk is I'm going to come in and I'm going to put just that tiniest wee dab, tiniest wee dab of super glue right on the head of the flea. And the reason for that is what I like to do is put a pair of Lurex in a bobbin holder. And I like to tie my pearl head on in the bobbin holder. And what the super glue does is it just gives it that wee bit of security. That stops it from slipping on you. And then, now, we're just going to form our pearl head. To me, this, this is the hard part. This is the hard part of the forming the wee pearl head. Now, that's enough for me. Now, I'm going to try and walk finish it. Hopefully, it's slipping. Hopefully. One. Oh, it's wanting to slip. No, we got to leave it. Two. And three. And that's more than enough. Because as soon as it... Oh, no way. Right at the last minute. Right, we'll just take that off. That's the baller bit. Uh... Right, we'll try that again. Just a wee dab of glue. See, that's the bar, mate. See, that's, this is why I find this the difficult part of the flight. Right. See if it goes any better this time. Right, that's enough. We'll try this again. This just doesn't want to play ball. Right. Can you try it now a third time. Alright, now let me see what's going on here. Third time lucky, hopefully. <clears throat> you see, as I say, this is why I find this is why I find this the difficult part of the be hard to get this it can be hard to get it right but when you get it right it is worth it uh, the the wee pair of the head makes all the difference so it does right 
Right. Redouble glue again. Try not to try your best not to touch the handles. Right. Here we go, folks. Third time lucky. This might be slip. turns and we are that looks that looks even better than the first two times so I'm happy enough for that. I'm just gonna try and we'll punish this again at that. One two three right be nice to me be nice to me There we go. Happy days. Got it that time. Third time lucky. And there we have it. That's the fly done, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a coat of super glue over the pearl, over the lurex, the pearl lurex. Just a coat of glue all the way around it. As soon as that dries, this stuff dries fairly quickly. As soon as that dries, what I'll do is I'll put a coat of varnish on it, a coat of clear varnish, let that dry, and then finish it off with a second coat of clear varnish. But that's it, folks. That's your green earth, pearly cascade. Great fly throughout the entire season. Uh, my favourite time to fish in all the cascade patterns is usually a day or two after the rivers had big water. <laughs> That's when I find the most successful. So it is. But listen folks, thanks very much for watching the video. Sorry it took so long there at the end to form that head, but you're better off doing it right. So you are. You're better off. Just come back, correct your mistakes. You're much better off doing it instead of plodding on, finishing the flying, then you look at it and it looks a mess and you're annoyed with yourself. So that's a that's the perfect video to show you that it's dead easy to come back and correct your mistakes. But anyway, as I said guys. Thanks very much for watching the video. Until next time, folks, tight lines.